Hi guys, welcome back. Let's do an exercise for joint rotation. This is really, really helpful. It actually comes from a martial arts tradition and it's going to involve different exercises to rotate all the joints in the body. Now your joints are actually the place where a lot of stress gets stored and it'll make you feel stiff obviously and also weak. So when you open up your joints, you're going to be able to swing the club much better. You're going to feel less irritation and pain and hopefully you'll score better too. So let's get started. Starting with the wrists, comfortably make a fist and rotate the wrist. You want to squeeze that fist a little bit to activate the muscles and tendons in the joint. Keep your shoulders relaxed, elbows slightly away from your body and don't forget to breathe. Now focus on the feeling in your wrist as you rotate. Next, open up the palms, stretch the fingers, you're going to get a little different sensation and rotate all the way to the fingertips. Feel that stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. If you suffer from tight or painful wrists, this may be something that you want to do. Multiple times a day, start gently. Next exercise for the elbows. Stretch out your arms about 45 degrees from your body, palms facing up, and then make a fist and you're going to rotate from the elbows. So you're going to bring those arms, the hands up, and then extend all the way out. Now the key point is that the bottom of the rotation, you fully extend the joint and feel the stretch. Now reverse it, so bring the hands inside and open the elbow from above, fully extending. You may notice that it's hard to fully extend. Your elbow wants to stop rotating before it gets fully extended. If that's the case, go very slowly, breathe, and try to feel where the stress is and open it up a little bit more. Work on that. Now, after you've done that exercise, shake it out. Notice the difference, maybe a little bit of heat. Those muscles have warmed up. And let's go to the shoulders. We're moving quickly through these different joint exercises. Bend your elbow, hands touching or near the shoulder, and rotate. Now remember, this is a shoulder joint exercise. You want to feel the movement of those muscles and the bones in the shoulder joint. Rotating backwards, opening the chest, and then switch direction, rotating forward, kind of drawing a big circle with your elbows. Now if it's a little circle, that's fine too. That's still going to have a lot of benefit for your shoulder joint. Remember to breathe, relax the muscles. You don't have to tense them up as you rotate. Now we're moving down to the spine and rib cage. So we're going to do this opening and closing of the arms, but it's not an arm exercise. It's more about your spine and rib cage moving forward and backward. So try to feel the rib cage, the sternum, stretching and relaxing. You may feel your internal organs kind of getting a little work out there. Focus on the center of the chest and then between your shoulder blades, feel some movement. You'd be surprised at how tight it can get there and how much this can help you. This is a joint that we want to open. Next, moving down to the middle spine. So we're going to do twisting. I want you to focus on the area around your stomach and kind of middle to lower back. And as you twist, keep your feet planted. Keep your legs fairly still and feel that through the waist. If you have back tightness, lower back issues, Go very gently. You don't have to do a big twist. Shoulders, upper body relax and breathe. And feel the stretch through your spine. This also can be helpful if you get a lot of tension in your stomach, third chakra area. This can help to release some of that stress. Now moving down to the lower back and hip joints. Pelvic rotation, feet planted, Legs stay pretty much still and rotate from the waist. So kind of move so that your tailbone is making a circle. You can move your pelvis, you're going to stretch those hip joints. Focus on the feeling in your hip joints. You want to make a nice smooth circle if you can. Upper body, relaxed and breathing. Your lower back may start to feel like it's getting a little workout. That's good. As you keep focusing, you'll notice heat, there's more circulation, more energy going to the joints, and that can be really helpful. Sometimes the joints are hard to relax with a regular kind of linear stretch, but rotation can really activate the energy deep in the joint. Next one, of course, the knees. Put your hands on your kneecaps. 
not really supporting your upper body, just more sending energy, sending warmth, and rotate. Both feet planted, make a circle, both knees. Feel the sensation of the knee joint. You've got the big bones, the femur, the leg bones meeting at the knee joint. Feel the rotation. Start with a little circle, gradually you can make it bigger. Now keeping the feet planted, open the knees, going forward from inside to outside. A little wider and then coming back together. And reverse, so going forward from the outside, bringing them together inside, make a circle. Feet planted, under control. You don't have to do a big stretch, it's just kind of like an internal joint massage. All right, one more really important one, the ankle, especially for our golf swing. Having stability, balance, strong connection to the ground is really helpful. You may not notice if your ankles get tight, but what will happen is that you'll have less sense of balance. You won't be able to swing as hard without losing your balance. So try this. If you have trouble keeping your balance, work on the ankle, activate the feet, press the ball of the foot down and rotate. and then drag the toe, this is easier without shoes on, and stretch the top of your foot. Just relax there for a moment. And if you're up for it, put the side of the foot, the outside of the foot on the floor, and gently stretch out your ankle. Don't overdo it. Put just a little weight onto it. And then shake it out. You should notice that your ankle and your feet feel different on the side that you just stretched. The other side. Lift up the heel, press the ball of the foot down, and rotate gently. So feel each toe getting some pressure. You're activating all the foot muscles, your ankles getting some movement, some strength, maybe even a little heat. The opposite way, upper body relaxed and breathing. You may be looking for like a deep sensation of stretching. It's not quite like that. It's more like a gentle massage. Now stretching the top of the foot, dragging the toe. And finally, outside of the foot, open up the ankle, breathe. Now, we just did a lot of work in a relatively short time. If you have any problem areas, particular joints that feel stiff, spend some more time doing joint rotation on that spot and see if you can't feel more comfortable, stronger, more flexible. It'll really help you when you go out to play. Okay, everybody, hope this helped. Let me know in the comments section if you liked it if it was useful to you, and send this video to somebody who might benefit from a little joint rotation exercise. Until next time, take care.